हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज डॉक्टर इलियास फ्रॉम द डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ एजुकेशन हजारा यूनिवर्सिटी मानसहरा दिस ब्रीफ लेक्चर इज अबाउट मिक्स मेथड रिसर्च इन सोशल साइंसेस एंड द व्हाट व्हाई एंड हाउ ऑफ दिस पार्टिकुलर रिसर्च मेथड सो लेट अस बिगिन विद द ब्रॉडर डेफिनेशन ऑफ मिक्स मेथड रिसर्च um mixed method research design is actually located within the pragmatic uh, paradigm of research which uh, emphasizes ends over means as we know that there are three main paradigms of research or other four main paradigms of research um and those include the positivistic paradigm the interpretivistic paradigm and then the critical paradigm and the mixed method research uh, comes in the paradigm um, that we call the pragmatic paradigm so this particular research method is located within the pragmatic paradigm of research um generally the focus of research um uh, in the mixed method research design is um, deemed to be on exploring answers to research questions using a variety of ways rather than implementing a particular paradigmatic positions so as the very name suggests the pragmatism actually is our response to finding answers to our problems through uh, means that are they do not take any ideal position that actually take a very practical uh, position in order to solve the practical problems in in life in general and especially um in the field of social sciences and education so the focus um uh, is not in on an ideal position or the implementation of a particular paradigm but actually exploring answers to questions of practical relevance and so here comes the uh, the importance of this pragmatic paradigm and the use of mixed method research um and so this particular research method uses a combination of quantitative and qualitative data to explore research questions and research issues or to find um answers to our questions or to actually achieve our research objectives now moving on to some of the characteristics of this uh, particular research method um as i mentioned earlier this particular research method uh or you can say this particular research stands represents a pragmatic or in some 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 would say non paradigmatic research stance so the stance here is not paradigmatic actually because the focus is on the use of this particular methodology um, in order to answer the questions um or to uh, get to our objectives and so it combines qualitative and quantitative data collection techniques which means um a using mixed method research design researchers can make use of interviews and observations that are that are actually that are primarily related to qualitative research but also of uh, more structured questionnaires um or scales or other scales that are more uh, that are associated with quantitative research so here in mixed method research designs there is generally a combination of qualitative and quantitative data collection techniques and naturally when there is combination of of qualitative and quantitative data that we need to analyze there is a generally a combination of qualitative and quantitative data analysis techniques which means we need to analyze the data using qualitative data analysis techniques such as thematic analysis and also quantitative data and data that actually needs uh statistical procedures for analysis then the data collection process could be um 
in, in mixed method in the use of mixed method research designs the data collection process could be simultaneous which actually means you can simultaneously or at the same time um, collect both qualitative data and quantitative data or it could be sequential which means um, one following the other method so you first you might collect quantitative data followed by qualitative data or you might do the opposite of it and uh, first collect qualitative data and then quantitative data and or you can embed one one data collection process within the other data collection process um, and so all of these three different ways of data collection processes can be used in the mixed method research designs then um, and so this sequencing uh, uh, will actually depend on, uh, um, on, on practical considerations during the research process. Then a rationale for mixed method research. In other words, why is it that we might use, we might make use of mixed method research designs? When is, uh, when should actually we make use of mixed met method research designs? So there are a number of the reasons uh, that are quite practical, one of the reasons is that often um, researchers in the social sciences want to bring rigor to um, their research process um, and the research product and they, they might also need to get, rich in, uh, to get richer data or to bring richness to the data that they are collecting for exploring an issue. Um, and so similarly, triangulation of data sources might be needed. In many cases, uh, research supervisors might ask you to triangulate your data so that to make the research process and the research product more authentic. And triangulation actually means bringing su support, supporting the findings through um, the collection and analysis of data uh, using more than one methods. And so again, you can use a questionnaire for collecting survey data, and then you can support that by conducting some in-depth interviews or observations uh, uh, related to the particular issue that you are exploring. So triangulation of data sources, when we need to do this in order to bring more authentication or support to our findings and conclusions, um, there uh, we can actually make use of uh, this particular research method. Then we have generalization of exploratory studies. Uh, sometimes we explore, uh, exploratory studies are generally not for generalizations, but for understanding of uh, situations, of particular situations, uh, especially in um, uh, small scale studies, case studies, um, you can explore phenomena. But if you want to generalize the results from those cases or those limited studies, you can do some, um, uh, you can actually collect data through um, surveys or through questionnaires on, on a larger scale. Uh, exploring the same questions and so you will be able to you might be able to generalize your uh, uh, the the results of your study beyond the the, the particular context uh, or or the limit the limits that are actually there in terms of um, of qualitative research so if exploratory studies um, need to be generalized then you might need to mix to use mixed method research designs um, so that uh, you can generalize um, on a broader level. Then um, there are also certain precautions uh, that one needs to take care of while doing or while conducting mixed method research designs. Mixed method research designs are often difficult as compared to single method research designs uh, uh, for a number of reasons. So the first thing is that you need to, as a researcher, you need to justify 
why you need to conduct mixed method research design. Generally, every research design needs uh, rationalization and justification. But mixed method research design, because you are using more than one methods, you are using more than one data collection techniques and more than one data analysis techniques. So you need to justify, especially justification is needed because you are actually combining two different paradigms of uh, social reality. And so this is something that you need to do. The second thing is feasibility. You need to look at the practical realities. Is it feasible for a researcher? Uh, because generally researchers have limited time and limited resources and also they have limited expertise. So is it feasible, especially if you are a student researcher or if you are a junior researcher or if you are a researcher who is working in individual capacity, is it feasible for you to employ both methods to collect data through qualitative uh, data collection tools and quantitative data collection tools and then um, combine those two uh, without um, uh, actually getting into some trouble. And so this is something, is it doable? This is something that's quite important and if you are a student researcher, you need to discuss these very practical issues with your supervisor. Then. Um, the other thing, the other precaution is that you need to need to, to have the expertise needed for uh, using both methods, which actually means have you as a researcher got the skill to deal with the complexities involved in doing mixed method research. So you might be a very good, um, uh, you might be very good at conducting interviews, but are you also good at developing questionnaires and scales and then using them? Similarly, you might be very good at uh, collecting data through questionnaires, but are you good? Uh, are you also good at um, conducting useful interviews or conducting um, observations, detailed observations? Similarly, you might also need to look into the way the data that you are collecting through these various methods. Um, you might be very good at doing thematic analysis of qualitative data, but are you also good enough to do um, content analysis or to do statistical analysis of the quantitative that data that you are conducted, conducting? So in other words, uh, what you need to do is look at your own expertise, your own strengths and weaknesses before embarking on um, this far more complex uh, type of research design as compared to the single method research design. And the last one, which is not the least one, is not is don't mix it up. So using mixed method research might lead to mixing it up if you do not take all these precautions. Sometimes I have seen students who have collected, collected both types of data. And then I see that while they are analyzing the data or while they are interpreting the data or while they are discussing the results, they ignore one or another uh, aspect of, of a particular data, data set. And uh, so I have seen in some cases that students have collected survey data and they, said they have also collected interview data. But then I don't see the results of, of uh, especially if the main, uh, the main research is actually survey data and they have also collected some, uh, done some interviews. Um, I have seen that the interview data is either absent, in some cases uh, the, uh, the results are absent in the result sections. In some cases, um, I see that the results of the interview data is absent in the conclusion and implication section. And so this is something that one needs to avoid uh, so that we do not actually uh, mix up things. Um, and again, because you here you are getting out of particular paradigms, uh, I have sometimes seen this as well 
that in the methodology section, um, one particular research method is um, actually elaborated on, but the other one is missing. So uh, before embarking on the mixed method research design, all of these precautions need to be taken. And so uh, a very careful kind of planning is needed before embarking on this. So there are some suggested readings. There are other readings as well that can help you in the further understanding of uh, this particular research method. Thank you very much for your time. If you have questions and comments, please share in the comment section. Take care. Bye.